I would like to uh, start our conversation with some additional information on uh, the latest meetings before the NATO summit Volodymyr Zelensky visited Turkey. It was very important negotiations. Security, both in our Black Sea region and Europe in general, was key points of this meeting. Ukrainian president was grateful for the support of Ukraine's uh, uh, territorial integrity and sovereignty. Peace formula and protection of our countries, our people, and our interests. With Rajiv Taib Erdogan, he discussed the uh, protection and development of the Black Sea Grain Initiative and further efforts for food security. The world must be protected from any kind of terror. What positive results have been achieved and what efforts are still needed for the maximum effects? How do you think? You mean it's about the grain deal or in general? About all the uh, decisions that were made uh, after these negotiations uh, by a Turkish side for the first. So for us, Turkey is the strategic partner and uh, we are developing a very uh, deep inside dialogue and communications with them. So uh, cooperation is very tight, even despite of the war, we have been continuing our strong uh, cooperation in defense industries and many other areas which are of common interest. Uh, we have received a lot of supplies from Turkey and uh, not only humanitarian assistance, as you believe. Last, uh, we, we share a common view on our uh, security in, in uh, Black Sea region, uh, which Turkey also supports in, in the view of Ukrainian territorial integrity and sovereignty. It means, first of all, non-recognition of the annexation of Crimea us condemning the Russian aggression against Ukraine. Uh, despite of that, Turkey has uh, good contacts with Moscow and continue to cooperate on the bilateral level with them. And it creates an additional opportunity for the mediation efforts, which was very successful last year. And uh, the Ukraine deal, exchange of prisoners, and as well as peace talks, which took place last March, uh, bring some results, but they were not as successful, not due to the power cooperation, but due to the position of the aggressor country. So uh, we continue to do our best to promote what we have uh, achieved before the war and what's, what was appearing now as the key elements of our strategic partnership. And uh, practically it is linked mostly to the defense industries, but not only supplies to Ukraine, but also supplies from Ukraine. And one of the key points is the new plant, uh, which is which Turkish company Bekar Makina or well done Bayraktar uh, is planned to be constructed Ukraine, and we are in good progress with that. So hopefully in a couple of years we will have a Ukrainian produced uh, EVs with the uh, with Ukrainian insignia and with Ukrainian weapons. So, uh, and we believe also that we would have a much more wider uh, flow for improvement of our cooperation. And uh, uh, we have signed special memorandum between our ministries of uh, strategic industries and the Ministry of Technology from the Turkish side develop all these prospective developments and uh, continue to work tightly. Maybe we couldn't uh, light out or express all the uh, all the topics we are discussed during the visit, but uh, believe me that it is very wide range and, and very positive dialogue which we have uh, last weekend in Turkey. Previously in this program, we discussed uh, the uh, situation in the Black Sea with the security matter uh, that uh, may touch not only Ukraine, but all the countries in this region, such as Bulgaria, Romania, Georgia, for example, as well. Uh, but uh, I want to ask you, what uh, influence uh, can uh, use Turkey in this situation to keep the security in the Black Sea? And what instruments are already, already used by to Turkish president or Turkish government? Look, it is not unilateral dimension because uh, all the territorial states around Black Sea, they feel uh, to be threatened by the Russian aggression. And it is not only from the beginning of a full-fledged invasion, but also from 2014, because Crimea became a military base which is threatening the whole region. Plus Russian aggressive activities, they are also creating uh, a very disturbing situation inside the region, and it is also uh, disrupt the traditional ways of cooperation which exists between territorial states and between different sea regions. Uh, we have this very good organization which is called BSEC, but these activities inside are very limited. The uh, occupation of some part of Ukraine, some part of Georgia, and uh, a lot of projects will be implemented um, because of Russian aggressive policy. 
because it's all linked. I mean, both Abkhazia and, and occupied territories of Ukraine, including Crimea, it's all done by Russians with different means. So uh, for Turkey, it is important to preserve peace and stability in the region. And we are also promoting the idea this, that this peace and stability could be delivered only by uh, taking Ukraine to uh, as a member of NATO. Because then the northern part of, uh, let's say, northern flank of Turkey is being protected by the uh, NATO aligned member Ukraine. We will also increase the security uh, situation inside the Black Sea region. And we will also uh, develop more strongly cooperation in the defense industry sector, which is now also is flourishing, but still we need some more impetus and also some, some more resources for being as functional for the whole allies. So uh, that is one of the dimensions which is very important. Plus, military activities of Ukraine or to back the active defense against the Russian aggressors, it's also decreased the potential of Black Sea fleet. And uh, this is also creating additional opportunities for the Turkish side to be a dominant power inside the Black Sea region. And also uh, the country which is in future most probably will, uh, will have a much more strong say against the Russian aggressive policy.